I'm back, she's back, let's do this. And then right after I said that, she hopped off. Thanks for the support. Hi everybody and welcome to Cats and Pats. One of my favorite CS professors in school always ended his presentations with, there's always more to learn. And so I'm taking that and saying there's always more to learn with cats. And just like a few weeks ago, I'm ready to dive into some cat facts. And you might be like, Jason, real original video idea here. Well right now, hopefully I'm nearing completion of my certification class and I have a feeling I'm swamped, so I'm recording this a little early. I like learning new things, we're doing it together. Let's just go. So I'm back at my fact retriever site and I'm ready for some more facts. A cat can't climb head first down a tree because every claw on a cat's paw points the same way. To get down from a tree, to get down from a tree, a cat must back down. You call this a cat fact? This is an obvious thing. Everybody knows that. Cats always back down and it's always like weirdy, wibbly wobbly and doesn't work out very well. Come on, fact retriever. And some kind of depressing facts we're gonna skip past because this is uplifting. So next thing, there are over 500 million domestic cats in the world with about 40 recognized breeds. One, that's a lot of cats. Two, that's not nearly as many breeds as I thought there were. I mean, that is still a lot of variety, but still. So last time we talked about the first cat in the White House, but now we're talking about the first cat in space. And that cat was a French cat named Philisette. Philisette? Lesson, which they say translates to Astro Cat. So yeah, apparently in 1963, France sent a cat up into space. And according to them, she made it back and survived the trip. This next fact doesn't paint kitties in exactly a good light. It says apparently 40,000 people are bit annually in the United States by cats. But I mean, are they talking about like a full-blown bite or like a nibble? Because Mimi likes to nibble every day. A little too hard sometimes though. Also, cats are the most popular pet in North America. With about 73 million cats to 63 million dogs. And I think this is excluding fish. Another thing, cats can hear two octaves higher than humans. And a little bit better than dogs. And if that doesn't sound familiar to you, I made a whole video about how good cat's hearing is, and I'll link that down below, because I like to rep me out. So another cool thing, according to this site, a cat can actually reach a top speed of about 31 miles an hour. Granted, it's a very short distance, but that is still super fast. That combined with crazy climbing skills, if you have a cat that's trying to get away and it escapes outside, it's pretty hard to catch them. Luckily, if they're in a loving household and you have some tuna fish out there, they'll probably just come back to you. So something else you might know, most cats give birth to approximately one to nine kittens in a single litter. But the largest known litter ever reported was actually 19 kittens. And that's a lot of kittens. And they say that 15 of those 19 survived, which is pretty remarkable. Look who's back. Coming to join me? So while not a domestic cat, the biggest wild cat out there is a Siberian tiger. They can apparently get up to 12 feet long and weigh about 700 pounds. That's a big kitty cat. Oh man, if they started making bread on your leg, that would hurt so bad. Apparently the most popular pedigreed cat are Persian cats, followed by Maine Coons and Siamese cats, with Persians being like the big fluffy ones. Which I mean, I love me a big fluffy kitty cat, but that's a lot of work on their part, and I think a lot of work on people's parts, because that hair just, it's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? She knows what I'm saying. I think you're falling out of your canoe. She loves a good head scratch. So let's see, what are some other cool things? A cat can jump up to five times its own height. Jimmy, growing up, we had like a mantle above a fireplace. That thing was high up there. But sure enough, a cat's a whoop, no problem. It blows my mind how high cats can jump sometimes. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat, which if you're wondering how cats got domesticated, I know a certain guy that made a video about that. Just saying. So we talked about the biggest wild cat. What about the smallest wild cat? Apparently that is the black-footed cat, which I guess is his technical name. And this says that female black-footed cats are less than 20 inches long and can weigh as little as two and a half pounds. Also, on average, cats sleep about two thirds of the day or about 18 hours. And if you're wondering why do cats sleep so much, I know just the video for you. Really, this just turned into an advertisement for all my other videos, which wasn't part of the plan, but it's what happened. Another cool thing, you know the brilliant scientist, mathematician, kind of everything man Isaac Newton? Apparently he was the first one to invent the cat flap. I didn't know that Newton was a cat guy, but I like him more now. Another cool thing about a cat's skeleton is they actually have 53 like loosely fitting vertebrae, which is part of what makes them so flexible, not just part. I also plan on making a whole video about that sometime. Oh, if you ever wanted something to call yourself, you can call yourself a allerophilia, which is Greek for cat lover. So that's a thing. So this is a really cool thing. Apparently one reason that kittens sleep so much is that their growth hormone is only released during sleep. I don't think humans are like that, but I'm really not sure. But that's pretty fascinating. Another mind-blowing thing, which is part of the reason cats can be so like soft and fluffy, is they have about 130,000 hairs per square inch. That sounds like way too much. Is that right? That can't be right. Can it? I'll verify before I put this in here. Apparently the heaviest cat on record was a cat named Hemi, which is a tabby from Queensland, Australia. And he came in at 47 pounds. That's a thick cat. And finally, the first cartoon cat ever was Felix the Cat, which I had seen Felix the Cat before, but I never knew that. So cool, the more you know. And once again, if you have any other cat facts you think people should know, let me know down in the comments below. Now I'm gonna get some stuff done while this cat is napping. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you are new here and you like cat videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Do you want to say anything pointy? This purse that pointy.